Fuck it. How's it going guys? Edgar here with Yugi Knights of the Round and today I am bringing you my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile. I am very proud of this deck. I put a lot of time and effort into it. So today I'm going to showcase it to you guys and hopefully you guys can also appreciate it as much as I do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the deck profile. Okay. Starting off, obviously you're going to run three Blue Eyes White Dragon. He's the powerful engine of destruction. This is his deck. Of course you're going to run three of him. Next, you're going to run three Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This is Blue Eyes when he was going through an emo phase, you know, he was listening to Nirvana, Evanescence. This is his alternative side, his grudgy side, and he's a very powerful card. Um, he's really easy to summon. All you really need is a Blue Eyes in your hand, reveal the Blue Eyes in your hand, and then if this guy's in your hand, you just summon him. It's awesome. Also, he has a board removal. You can destroy one card on the field. I believe it's one card and one monster. Hey, it's one monster, my mistake. Next, we're gonna run three white zones of Agent. This is our level one tuner. Also, he's our searcher. I mean, uh, not searcher. He can add a blue eyes to your hand from the graveyard. So, the combo usually what you want to do is always pitch this guy, throw him away to the graveyard. At the end of the turn, you get to summon a blue eyes from your deck. And if this card's in your graveyard and you have a blue eyes in your graveyard, you can banish him and bring that blue eyes to your hand. So, say you have an alternative in your hand, you have no blue eyes, pitch this guy, bring a blue eyes to your hand, and then you can summon an alternative. Next, my favorite monster in this deck, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. He's a very powerful ritual card. 4,000 attack, beat stick, cannot be targeted or destroyed, and he does double piercing. He's fantastic. I love him. I only run two. I would run three, but it gets really bricky, and then it's just a mess if you run three, so two, best. Next is two, Dragon Spirit of Whites. This is our back row removal. Anytime he gets special summon, you can uh, banish a spell and trap card, so obviously. Also, he's treated as a normal monster in your hand and in graveyard. So, what you can do, we do run Dragon Trier in this deck, so it says send one normal monster, right? So you send him to the graveyard, he becomes a normal monster in the graveyard, and then you can throw away another card on top of that, which is usually your, your White Stone Ancient. So that's really cool. Next, you're gonna run two Sages with Eyes of Blue. He's a pretty good card, in my opinion. Um, you tribute a monster, you discard him, tribute a monster, and uh, you get to summon a blue eye. It's pretty powerful. And if you normal summon him, you can search for a level one tuner. I mean a level one light monster, so that's able to search for you. Next we run two galaxy soldiers. Um, we run him for the cyber infinity engine. If you don't know it, it's pretty simple. If you have a galaxy soldier in your hand, you tribute one of your, you discard one of your light monsters, which you have a bunch of light monsters, and you can special summon him. And when you special summon, you can search for another galaxy soldier added to your hand, and then again, you can discard another light monster and special summon him. And then you have two level five light machine monsters, overlay them to Cyber Dragon Nova, and then you can put Cyber Dragon Infinity on top of that. It's a very powerful combo. Now, I, if you've probably seen a lot of other deck profiles of Blue Eyes, and they probably see, you see running three Galaxy Soldiers. I only run two, because I've seen that running three Galaxy Soldiers leaves you with a dead soldier in your deck. Because you only need two to get the combo, and so you're left with a third one that doesn't work anymore, so it's kind of pointless to run three of them. So instead of that, I run a Galaxy Wizard. So we gotta run one Galaxy Wizard. It's a Wizard's effect. If he's summoned, you can tribute him and add a soldier to your hand. Pretty simple, right? So bam, we don't have a dead third soldier. Also, if you already wasted this combo, you already went to the Cyber Infinity combo, and you have this Wizard in your deck, and in your hand, it's, he's still not dead. Because you can summon him, and he can become a rank eight monster. I mean, a level eight monster, and then you can run, overlay into a rank eight. So that's very cool. Next, we run two Manjus of the 10,000 hands. He's our Ritual Seeker, he can bring Chaos Max to our hand, or he can bring a Ritual card to our hand. Next, we run one Honest. All your monsters are light, except for Chaos Max. Honest just helps out a lot. And then the one Effect Baylor, because you can search with Sage. Sage can help you search for your Effect Baylor, and it's a pretty good hand trap. So those are our monsters. Moving on to Spells. Okay, so for Spells, you're gonna run three, the Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Very powerful card, in my opinion. Discard one card. Bring two blue eyes to your hand, practically. So you're gonna discard a white stone agent, bring a regular blue eyes to your hand, and an alternative, reveal the blue eyes special summon alternative. Or you're gonna bring your chaos max. You know, it's pretty awesome. So bam, we're in three of them. Summer of our revival, return of the dragon lords, very powerful card. Special summon a level eight or level seven dragon monster from your graveyard. And if one of your dragons were to get hurt, you can banish this from your graveyard and save them. Or draw engine, 
trade in. Discard a level 8 monster and draw 2. We have so many level 8s in this deck. You'd think they'll brick your hand. No, because you got one of these guys. Let's toss him and draw 2. Next are our ritual cards. Chaos Form. We run 2 of them. And then we run 2 Advanced Ritual Art. Uh, I usually, I used to run 3 Chaos Forms, but Advanced Ritual Art is just a little bit faster. Because you don't really need to have like the payment, you know, the payment of the for the ritual. Because if you have your blue eyes in your deck, you just use Advanced Ritual Art toss them into the graveyard. I don't run three because, say, you already have all three of your voices in your hand, or you already went through them all. It kind of, it's kind of dead. Uh, one card's confidence. We do run a level one dragon tuner, so easy to draw. The dragon shrine, what I mentioned earlier for that combo. Soul charge, more of our revival, and then monster reborn because it got off the ban list, and why not? <laughs> the one quaking air force. A lot of people don't see this one coming. A lot of people don't see it coming because they. Because they face Blue Eyes players before, and a lot of Blue Eyes players, they don't run any traps, like at all. So every time they put back row, you know, your opponent knows you're bluffing. They're like, okay, those are all just spell cards. But you get them with a Quakey, and then you got a Chaos Max on your turn. All their monsters are face down defense, you do double piercing, it's beautiful. Alright, onto the extra deck. We run Blue Eyes, Twin Burst Dragon. He's, uh, I only run one mainly because he's kind of cool. Because <laughs> he's a fusion Blue Eyes. But he's really nifty, he can attack up to twice per turn if he attacks a monster that isn't destroyed at the end of the battle phase, it gets banished instead. So those cards that are like, oh, cannot be destroyed by battle, he's a perfect answer for that. Next is Azurai's, some protection, he can protect your monsters for a couple turns, and he can do some revival, he can bring back your Dragon Spirit of White. So if you do that, you know, you can start banishing stuff. Next is the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Sorry for that glare, <laughs> but he's really cool, you know, you can stop your opponent's graveyard effect and then you can tribute him and then you can summon another light synchro monster that can help you out. So you can actually go into him and bring out Azurai's, but at the end of the turn, whatever monster he brings back gets destroyed, but Azurai's effect will protect himself, so pop in, bring out Azurai's and protect Azurai's. But your other targets are uh, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, you know. To remove some pesky monsters, Mikael because of his banishing effect. Next is that Cyber Dragon combo that I was telling you guys earlier about with Galaxy Soldier. You overlay to bring out Cyber Dragon Nova and then immediately go into Cyber Dragon Infinity. Really powerful, you can negate and then you steal your opponent's monsters. Azel the Sylvian High Protector, another rank 8 monster, pretty good. Thunder End Dragon, two level 8 normal monsters, which we do run in this deck. Obviously, it's Blue Eyes, so that's very powerful. Heretic the Suck. The Sudden Dragon Overlord Hyptalus. Again, this deck's all about pitching cards, so it's perfect. Number 38, some good negation. Number 107, some good power. Galaxy Eye, Cypher Dragon, that amazing combo where you can steal your opponent's monster and then overlay with a Galaxy Full Armor Photon Dragon, 4000 Tech Beat Stick, and then another 4000 Tech Beat Stick. Number 95, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. So that's our extra deck. Alright, next to our side deck is Ash Blossom. You're going to run two of her. I know she's an expensive card, but she's really powerful. I don't run three because she is powerful, but there's not a lot she can do. She can only really stop three things, which are a lot of combo starters. But that's why we run Ghost Ogre in case they already have a combo out there. Amorphage Goliath. This is a really powerful card. Because this deck, as you may have saw, I don't have any Link Fodder. I don't have any Link Monsters in this deck. Because you don't need them. You don't need the Link Monsters. You got Chaos Max. You got your Blue Eyes Alternative. You're fine. You can overlay into like Cypher Dragon or something like that. You're fine. You don't need a field full of X monsters from your extra deck. So if you summon Goliath, you lock your you lock yourself out of the extra deck, but you lock out your opponent from the extra deck. So you know that helps you. Uh, one White Stone of Legends just helps you search for your Blue Eyes is faster. Double Twin Twisters. We're gonna bring two of them because you know for pesky back row removal. Silver Skies. I'm a more revival. Right, Geki. You know, if you're going second, Royal Decree. We're not running a lot of trap cards, so if we can like get them out of their trap cards, it's fine. Dimensional Burial, if they have you know annoying monsters from the extra deck. Skill Drain. You have a, all your a majority of your monsters are like 3,000 and 4,000 attack. All right, they don't really need their effects. And then Soul and Strike, because you know, it's just a good negation. Okay, but there you guys have it. That is my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me get you guys' opinions on this. And leave a like if you liked the video. And if you didn't, I guess go ahead and dislike it. But make sure to subscribe, guys. We're bringing out more deck profiles. 
we got a new one cooking that I haven't seen anybody else make any uploads of it. So I'm excited to bring that one next, all right? So I'll catch you guys later.